What's your problem? There's some huge animal out there. A monster! I swear it almost got me. Uh, yeah. Are you sure it wasn't a raccoon or a squirrel? It was bigger than me. Did you ever see a squirrel that big? No, and I never saw a monster either. scary enough, so you gotta go and pull this? Oh, it's scary, all right. This is just a setup. People have been scared of monsters in the wilderness forever. But not just bears and mountain lions and stuff. I'm talking about the strange beast that can't be explained. Like what? Like the abominable snowman of Tibet, the Loch Ness Monster of Scotland, and the flesh-eating giants of Mandalay. Nobody knows for sure if these monsters are real. But a lot of people think so because they've seen them. And tonight, if you're not too scared, you might see them too. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story. The Tale of the Manaha. Sergeant Slimeball. Attention! How did I end up with a bunch of dirt balls like you? Roll the tents over the pack, dimwit! It's for dinner. Pasta with a light tomato garlic sauce. Who's a chubby? God, God. Volume six, first edition. You bring these and we're using them to start the fire. I can't go. I've got poison ivy. I can't go. I have poison ivy. What kind of wimp are you? Any kind of wimp you want me to be, just don't make me go. Put your shoes on, you're going. Hey, guys. I thought I was gonna miss you. What do you want? I'm coming on the overnight. Forget it, Runt. You will never keep up. You gotta let me come. Mr. Ostrowski gave me permission. How to survive in the bush by Oscar Butts! I've been reading it all summer to get ready for the overnight. Anything you will need to know, you will learn from me. <laughs> You boys are about to embark on a vision quest, a test of endurance, intelligence, and courage. None of you have ever spent a night in the forest. It's an experience you'll never forget. By the time you return tomorrow, I'm sure you'll know a lot more about yourselves and each other. Just remember to check in with the ranger. I don't want to have any problems. Yes, sir! Troops, about fish! Forward, march! Jonah, are you sure you want to go through with this? Absolutely. Okay, have fun.
Yo, Junior! Keep up unless you want to be lunch for some hungry grizzly. There's grizzlies out there? No. Chapter 9. According to Oscar Butts, grizzlies are only found in northwestern forests. The nearest grizzly is 3,000 miles away. You saying I'm a liar? Uh, no. I just think your facts are a little off. Yeah, well, keep your opinions to yourself. In fact, doesn't Oscar Butts have a chapter that says you must carry the leader's pack? Uh, I don't think so. See? You learn something new. Don't make it worse for us, all right? Why don't they have pull-off lids on these things? Always pack carefully. Chapter one, Oscar Butts' first rule of hiking. Go down there and get it. But it's steep. You want to climb down or fall down? The Manaha have returned. They have once again smelled the scent of human flesh. And they hunger. You must leave this place forever. Where are you? We gotta get out of here. The Manaha are coming. The what? The Manaha. Tell them. What are you talking about? There was a shaman. He says there's monsters out there called Manaha that'll lead us. Yeah, sure. Oh, man. Hey. This stuff is really old. I mean, people get famous for discovering this kind of stuff. Huh. Good thing I found it. You did and I did. Oh. This gotta be worth some bucks. I'm gonna have my picture on the front page. <laughs> Of him, Naha. A what? Jonas said he saw this guy who told him monsters are gonna eat us. This is a joke, right? I wish it were. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's no joke. Get it on the way back, and I'll make sure someone else carries it. Hello? 
We're out here to check in. Anybody home? Jeez, he left all his food. What a waste. It's the Manaha! They got the Ranger! We gotta get out of here! Is there anything wrong? <laughs> Yo, kid, get some dead branches for firewood. Unless you're scared. I'm not scared. Don't worry, Jonah. The boogeyman won't eat you. You're too small. <laughs> <laughs> it? Man, you're useless. Where are you going? I'm gonna get more wood. You can't go in there. And why not? Hey, just because you're chicken doesn't mean I'm not gonna cook. so spooked. I'm not. Chapter 12. Oscar Butt says fear is only an emotion. If you conquer fear, you conquer the forest. <sighs> that kid is gonna pay for making me have to. kidding about that Manaha thing. The ranger station! He has a two-way radio. We can call for help. Yeah. trails, rely on the stars, and your compass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Guys! Okay. Take
Take that path. But take it easy, it's dark. Tell me about it. That wasn't here before. Maybe we took the wrong path. No, it's the right path. Something put it there. Then we'll go around it. Wait, we gotta stick together! You have been warned! <laughs> says fear is only an emotion. If you believe there are monsters in the woods, then there are. But if you don't, then there's nothing to be scared of. Lonnie's gone, Jonah. So is Eddie and the ranger. I think that's pretty real. There's more going on here than we think. So? So I think we can save them. No way. I'm going back to camp. Chapter 4. What happens when you run from a wild animal? What? It chases you. You guys do what you want. I'm tired of running. Just an illusion, a trick. But I am no illusion. I was a powerful shaman until my people sealed me in that cave. The fools thought my magic had become too powerful, too evil. They said that I wanted the forest only for myself. Perhaps they were right. Now that you have released me, 
The forest is my hunting ground once again. I warned you to leave. Now it is too late. Stop! Put the torch down. Now! <laughs> and if I do not? I'll use the magic in the statue against you. The power is not in the statue, young fool. It is with me. Then I summon the Manaha. Maybe you don't know as much about magic as you think. This cannot be. Away with you. I no longer need you. You don't control them anymore. I do. Stop. I created you. You do not exist. I own the Manaha now. I will make them destroy you. I command you to disappear. You were put in here for a reason. And now you're going back. We do. Meet my Minaha. Yeah. All right. We've got five miles due west at 20 minutes per mile and a half hour break for a rest. And a snack. And a snack. We should arrive at camp in time for lunch. Everybody set? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right. Let's go. Pick up the pace, Lottie. might have been small, but size has nothing to do with how brave you are. That depends on what's up here and in here. The end. Good story, Tuck. Maybe it's a giant squirrel. And maybe being small also means you gotta run faster. Hey, you forgot your head. Let's go catch the headless gorilla. Thank you. 